Welcome back to Oakfield Farm for episode 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 5.03 in the morning, day four, midsummer. Yesterday afternoon was a bust. Um, I came in, made a few phone calls, there was a few bits I needed to do, and didn't actually get any more done, which isn't the end of the world, but I have got some things sorted out. I spent the afternoon making a spreadsheet <clears throat> as you do now that spreadsheet will come up on the screen awesome isn't it now the thing about that is well I've got a lot going on and it's all good I think I'm on top of it but I got on the phone yesterday and f for AJ for gloss crisps AJ has said no problem on the transport and arrival of the cows and the sheep. That'd be 50 of each, which is fine. Cows I'm not going to start doing yet, because I don't have the straw um, for bedding or rations or anything like that. That's not going to help me at all. Um, I don't even know if I've got enough grass or hay for 50 cows. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, sheep I can definitely start doing now because I can do more grass um, I can that's not a problem at all and all I need is grass and water so the sheep I can start doing so I've been on the phone to Barris and I have bought a Bruno HSRB 5390 animal trailer you'll see that in a minute and I've got a lizard homemade IBC front tank it's only 2000 litres but it's something a little bit different I thought I'd give it a bit of a go so what I'm going to do is jump into the old Massey Ferguson, which I adore. Still Teflon coated, it doesn't seem to get a speck of mud on it, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm going to get that... Yeah, don't want to take it down to the store, why not? Oh actually, I don't need to take it down to the store, do I? Barry said everything would be delivered. Now the stuff I just bought didn't cost very much at all. If I show you, on my tablet, the Bruno HSRB is only 8,700, which is brilliant. And the IBC is only 1,450, so that's what, 9,000, 10 grand, just over 10,000. 10,150, I make it. So, yeah, that's all right. Not a massive expense. I'm not going to get many sheep in that trailer, but that's not the end of the world either. So what I'll do then, I forgot all about that. What I will do is have a quick check on the beehives. Um, I'll have a check on the old uh, the old tablet sat nav. I think the bunker silo's done fermenting as well. If I is it L3? There we go. We have silage. That's quite handy. I can't remember how much is in there. Hang on a second. Two hundred fifty-two thousand liters. That's not too bad. That will keep us going for a little while. So yeah, uh, I have some stuff delivered, and I'll go and. Well, you'll go to the livestock market anyway. There's no point having it delivered. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to buy what I need, and um, AJ will reimburse me from Gloss Crisps, so I can get my sheep. That's not a problem at all. Uh, the money has gone up. I'm on 403,000. I was on 404, but I lost about a thousand overnight. I'm trying to think the best route to go out onto the main road, I think. Um, because I've sold the gens. I sold the gens with chipper. Um, because I'm just thinking now I'm not going to use it until winter um, when the log prices come back up again I'll sort out whether wood chip I'm going to need I've got a couple of winter contracts that need doing if you want to skip back on the video to have a quick look at the uh, the little spreadsheet you're more than welcome to but I've got a couple I think I've got one for old Ben and one for Aaron I think I'm going to be doing over the winter I have heard tell as well, this may be coming up as well, um, that Sir David um, was at a function, I don't know where, in London I think, um, with uh, various different uh, dignitaries, and Lord William of course was there, and was regaling them with stories of the uh, Mr CDP triple distilled bourbon, um, and the apple pie, and all the great stuff from the west coast. Um, and Sir David wants some so I may have to do a trip to the west coast I may have to whiz back I may need to go and pick up some bourbon 
Um, yeah, I don't know when that's going to happen, but when I get a day off, if I get a bit of spare time, I may have to whiz back to the west coast to grab some, uh, which will be an interesting, uh, interesting little journey. So we'll see how that goes, but uh, in the meantime, let's get sheep on the farm. Let's check on various different crops and see how we're going. I might need to do some more spraying. Uh, I've got a couple of fields that I'm going to need doing. What have I though? Actually, I'm not sure if I have. Again, I'm just racking my brains. I don't think I have, you know. I've got field 9 that will need cutting if that's ready to be cut. Field 7 will need spraying when that's ready to be done again, as will field 14. But I'm pretty sure all of my crop fields are all on full fertiliser states, I think. So, uh, yeah, hang on. Let's get to the store and then we'll check. We'll have a quick look. Right, let's just get in here, shall we? Right, these are the two bits of kit. Like I say, it's not a big trailer for the sheep, but you know what? I'll do a few chip trips. Chips? I'm not going to do any chips at all. Just have on Safari. Ooh, that was called a Safari. Bruno Safari. Nice bit of kit, and that's the homemade IBC. The names of the modders will come up on the screen now because my mind has gone completely blank again. Anyway, there we go. So, right, what's going to happen now? Um, yes, I was going to check on my map. Let's have a quick look at my satellite image and let's go across to soil composition. Yeah, they're all done, aren't they? Yeah, all my fields done. They're all at full fertilising state. So I just need to leave them to grow now. That's fantastic. Um, field 14 will need a bit of a bit of a spray, but that's a grass field, as will field 10 and will field 7 when they start to regrow. Field 9, once that's ready, because that hadn't that wasn't ready to to cut before. But it might be now, but I'm not sure I'm going to need that yet. So, oh, that's right then. I haven't got to worry. Right, let's hook these up then. Uh, let's get the IBC on the front. It can be put on the back. It's just, I think, having a water tank that you can carry on the front leaves you open then for uh, manoeuvring around with other bits of equipment for feeding the animals. And I mean, that sticks out a long way, actually, doesn't it? But anyway, that should be all right. Let's get the trailer on the back as well. We'll take them both at the same time. Let's go, right. That is a beacon, does it? It does. Nice, this is a cool little mod, I like this. It may seem a little bit dim on your screen at the moment, only because it's still ten past five in the morning. Actually, I don't know if the livestock market will be open, will it? Probably not. I might have to go up and wait till they open. Now I have been set an interesting challenge, and this is another one that I'm, I'm not sure on what map or when this is going to happen. But um, I mentioned way back about the uh, New Holland CR 1090 harvester that had won or held a, held a record for so much wheat, I think it was, that had been harvested um, in a certain amount of time. Anyway. Uh, uh, one of my subscribers, Bear, Bear, Bear and Papa, Bar and Papa, never quite sure how to say it. I do apologise. Um, said that he found one for a Homer Exact T440 or T430. I'm not too sure. And it holds the record for the most sugar beet harvested in a 24-hour period. It's something like 4. Point something, 4.28 hectares or something like that in 24 hours. And they had loads of equipment and they were hauling uh, sugar beet. He's challenged me to do that challenge, that record, um, Sugar Beet Harvest, with the time set on times 30. Um, so I don't know whether I'm, I'll do it one of my Let's Plays or whether that will come up as a kind of separate, separate challenge. I'm not sure at the moment. Anyway, let's 
show you why I like this little trailer because this thing is just brilliant let me just get it back up a little bit and let's swim around and let's open this bad boy up now gates do go as well and I can't remember how one second right I think it's R1 and then and there we go that's so cool and I think around the side as well is it L1 and there you go so when you are getting the sheep in, or whatever animals you're getting in, you can come in and then get out the side and then, you know, cool bit of kit, really nice. Okay, so let's get some sheep. Now I need 50 of these, which is going to get pricey, but I'll do five at a time. Okay, that's going to be 10 trips, great. So, one, two, three, four, five, just under 20 grand. 10 lots of that's 200,000. Okay, I've got enough, I can afford to do it, and they'll get reimbursed. That's all right. 403. Confirm. And there they are. Very neatly packed in there. Looking, yeah, mildly terrified. So, let's close that, let's put those back around, let's close that up, let's get our first five sheep over to the farm shall we? Right, let's get this opened up. Get the side gates open. Now, I don't know whether I should have opened the main gate and then driven in, then opened the side gates. That probably would have made more sense, wouldn't it? I'll try to remember that for next time, because I'm not sure if that's going to work properly or not. 
we'll see. And whether or not I'm close enough to the trigger as well, I don't know. Right, let's open the gate. And let's see if I'm close enough to the trigger to unload. I hope so. Yep, all good. Right, unload. So, five sheep go in. And, well, they were quick. Uh, okay, I see two. Where are the rest of my sheep? I'm going to have to try and find them. I think they all are here. One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they were just right up the hill, that's all. Hidden out of the way. Right, I need two. Do I do the delivery first? Get them all here, then... F no, actually. I think... Let's get some water and feed in for them. Then I can come back with some more. At least these ones aren't going to die in the meantime. Close that. This little trailer's brilliant. I love it. Put those away. Fold that up. So, where's my water point? I'm sure I showed this on the first look. Oh, there we have. It's going to cost me a little bit of money, but it's not the end of the world. This won't take 2,000 litres, but... Not a problem. So, while that's filling up, uh, yeah, backwards and forwards, I need 50, so... Another nine trips. What I will do while I'm doing this, if I grab the Stuart trailer, if that, those back wheels have come off the ground now, get a little bit of wheel slip, get some grass in here. Perfect, right. Under here. I'm not going to need a huge amount, not for five of them at the moment, anyway. Grass. That will probably do for the time being. But I can leave both of these in the field and then just add to them as I need to. was just the most idiotic place to leave that trailer. What was I thinking? Never mind. That's that done. I'm 
Now I'm confused. Oh, there we go. I sad to get a trigger come up. That was a bit worrying. Right, that can stay there for the time being. And I suppose, to be fair, so can that. Right there for a minute. Right, let's go and get some more. There's not a shortcut. Actually, hang on a minute, I've just thought of an idea. I'm talking of shortcuts. Um, I think there might be, you know. There might be a shortcut. It's a bit of a dodgy one, but... Let's go along the bumpy track. Now while I'm doing this, I've had a few kind of, I don't know, not even revelations really, it's that kind of, it was, it's obvious. Um, but I think from now on, I'm going to do my let's play how I do my let's play. I know I've said that so many times before, and people comment and they say stuff and I think, oh, maybe I should have done something differently, or maybe I should have done this or should have done that. Regardless, this is how I'm doing it and people are still going to comment and I get that I could use bigger trailers I could use smaller this I could be, use bigger that did you know you yeah I know of course I do there are always going to be things I didn't know that people are going to tell me and that's the beauty actually I don't need to worry about closing up for the time being that's the beauty of the game people do things differently and that's how I learn uh, while I'm on this subject not this subject but I want to give a shout out like I said I don't do the shout outs very often actually I think it's it's either no one Shaw 1985 or number one Shaw 1985 not sure which one of those it is but to you a massive shout out and to your children you've said that they often watch and they copy my storylines and stuff I love it I think that's fantastic so to you and your children massive shout out glad you're enjoying the videos thank you for your comment it was incredibly nice um, incredibly positive I don't know why I just did that. Um, but it kind of reminds me every now and again, you need a bit of a reminder why you do it, you know? I enjoy playing this game. I love playing the game. Doing the videos is a whole different ball game, and sometimes you just need that little reminder why you're doing it. Just suddenly dawned on me. Now, I know these are other people's fields. If I skirt around the edges, I should be okay. But this is a shortcut. Once the gates are open, I say it's a shortcut. Would have been quicker just to yeah, go the other way, but... Let's go around into this field. There's nothing in the field. I could just drive across it, but that's just... You know, it's not the done thing, is it? A gentleman does not behave in such a manner. around to here around the side of the fields I own well say I own <laughs> I've worked on gloss crisps own I don't own it 
Well, technically it's a shortcut. We'll go with that. Let's just say it's a shortcut. <laughs> with a quicker tractor, it'd be a shortcut. Actually, that's just an idiotic statement, isn't it? It doesn't matter what speed the tractor goes at. If it cuts off distance, it cuts off time. It's still a shortcut, no matter how slow you go. Because if I went the other route, I'd still be going at this speed. Ignore me. Oh. So anyway, yeah, next thing. Uh, 12,000 subs. Wow. Just gone over 12,000. I think I'm on 12,048 now. Thank you. Uh, every time I hit a thousand, the, the, the next thousand, not a thousand, the next thousand up, it's just that massive... Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely awesome. So what we'll do is open it up. Open those up. Back that up. Like so. And let's get some more in. Not pigs. Get the right things. 25. 19,001 pound. Marvellous. Right. Pull that forward a little bit. Let's close that. Put those back. And away we go. Load number two. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Isn't it just uh, I'll spend the rest of this episode just going back and forwards. So you can just put the kettle on, kick back, relax. Bit bumpy for the old sheep in the back, but I'm sure they'll be okay. Sorry about that, just had to stop and scratch my nose. You know how it is, you have to take your hand off the wheel. This is definitely a shortcut. Sorry I've been so quiet, just enjoying watching the tractor and listening to it. I didn't... I was thinking, should I put music over that when I edit? No. You want to hear that tractor. I'm going to come at this slightly differently next time. That's twice I've made a real hash of turning around there. Right, but anyway, this is the second load. So after this load, um, I'll do the rest off screen. You don't want to watch the, the last eight loads of these going in. Hopefully we'll jump back and we'll be on the last one. Not sure how long that just took me, but... So, what I'll do, if I pull forward, pull forwards, go backwards, open that up, and this time open those like that, then come back into the trigger. There we go. Now once those go to there, sheep aren't likely to escape. That's better, isn't it? Um, 
I don't want to sell them, I want to unload them. Why is it not let me unload them? Mm, that's odd. So after a minor bit of jiggery pokery, we got there in the end. That was weird, that way. This wasn't quite in the trigger properly. So, unload, we're up to 10. Confirm. Wonderful. Right, let's check on them, shall we? Let's check in the menu. So we're getting on. Health is at. F oh, you think I'd learn, wouldn't you? Did it again. I didn't put one in, and then <laughs> I just want to cry. Ah. Uh. Okay, let me rectify this. I don't know how I'm going to rectify it because I've put a second load in every single time. For those of you who don't know, I assume this is still an issue, um, if you just put your animal straight in, the health on seasons won't go up to what it should be at. Um, I thought that had been rectified, but maybe not. So what you need to do is put one animal in, take it back out again, and then put it back in and it'll be fine because I put them all in one go I don't think it's going to work so okay uh, I need to sort this out so what I need to do is take them all out put one in or actually probably taking them all out will trigger it it'll be fine okay let's sort this out I'll see you in a bit I need to sort this out and this is it's going to cost me money again okie dokie Okay, so, oh, that's that sorted. So I come out of the field, five into the trailer, I had to sell five, then buy them back. Oh, I lost a little bit. Anyway, if you look into the menu now, uh, the health now says 80%, not 40%, which is where you should be starting out at. It should be at 80. I'm now worried because on Sussex Farm, and I'm a bit worried I do I'm doing Sussex Farm Let's Play if you didn't know that already if you've only been watching Oakfield um, just started Sussex Farm and you start off with five of each animal but then when you put seasons on I don't know if that's the same whether you have to take them out and put them back in again um, because I'm sure my health's only registering 70 something percent so I'm not sure I have to check that but anyway yeah that's just one of those annoying little things anyway right water's all right feed's okay disconnect that so batters and fours now i'm going to go and get some more and i will see you in a little while i should have my 50 sheep and this palaver i can't believe i make the same mistake every single time anyway never mind like i say <laughs> i would say you live and learn i don't seem to be learning Right, that's it. Last load. It's ten past eight. I did stop for a spot of breakfast. Look at the view. What a day. Oh, amazing. Anyway, yeah, so this is the last five. There are 45 in there, five in here, 190,000. It's weird, because when you click on it, it says uh, 19,001 um, for five. But then when it goes to the payment bit, it says 19,000. So anyway, so 50 sheep, 190,000. We're down to 213 in the bank account, but that will be reimbursed by Gloss Crisps, which is absolutely awesome. So, same thing again. Let's put those away. 
Let's close that up. Never get bored of watching it. Let's get him back. Um, I've been, as I've been taking loads backwards and forwards, I've been topping up the, the water and the uh, the grass, which is fantastic. The water is expensive. The trouble is, I wanted to use that that front um, homemade water tank IBC, but it is only two thousand liters, which is quite small. Which is a bit frustrating because what I really need to do is get sort of get to a water source, fill up for free. I don't really want to get those. What I want is not a water tower that you've got to pay from either. What you need is a water storage tank. I know there's those the liquid storage, but that's like the Pringle tubes that are used on the Valley of the Old Farm. That's for storing everything. What I need is just like a water container, like a big one. Um, I suppose I can get the Joskin. 32,000 litre trailer but I was thinking more in terms of like a tank you can have it all in at your farm but you just go backwards and forwards fill up the tank and then you can access that whenever you need it maybe there is one I'll have to have a look in the mod hub um, I don't think on console there is I was spoken to the farmer as well all good about this he doesn't mind me going across the field anyway this may seem a bit repetitive we've done this already haven't we but let's get this last lot in and in doing so close the gates on the way that one So as I said before, Gloss Chris are going to do 50 cows, it'll be 25 for the potatoes and 25 for helping them out with the sunflower. I can do those whenever I want, however I am going to wait, like I say, until I've got straw for bedding and for making top mix ration, there's no point putting them in there because you can't buy cow feed. Pig food you can get away with um, without having anything, but unfortunately the cows you can't. So I'm not going to start putting them in there yet. I mean, you, you can have them in there without total mixed ration. You don't need it, but they do need bedding. And I don't have any, so... Um, so that's something as well. The whole process. I do enjoy the process of making the bales and doing everything in the grass and the hay and the straw swaths off of the barley and the wheat. But I think that's another thing console needs. I think Alien Jim's kind of pushing those boundaries a little bit with um, Sussex Farm now having the manure purchase point and Holger Stengstock did it with the slurry purchase point we need a bale purchase point somewhere you can go and buy bales I know there are PC mods out there and you can buy I don't know if it's individuals or it's like stacks of four or eight or whatever it is um, but that's what you need you need a bale purchase point because there must be farmers out there that don't produce their own bales. They might just do livestock and don't have arable farming on their farm. Um, in which case, they buy theirs from other farmers who's, who what they do on their farm is they just make bales. They do bales for other farms. So, you know, we need that. If anyone's out there and wants to do a mod for that, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Oh, I might have left the gate open. Whoops. Open it up. I'm not going to do the side gates this time because there are sheep already in the field and the other sheep should hopefully go to them without too much hassle. Let's close that up. Beacon's off. Okay, they are scattered, but we have 50. Let's make sure. Oh, that wasn't good. 
Okay, feed's good. Feed area, I think, is a bit messy. So cleanliness needs sorting. I need to get over here with the bucket. Oops. No, that's not too bad, actually. Hay and grass, cleanliness. Health is up at 8%, that's good. Cleanliness is at 93. So, and it does say I've got 1% wool. That's good to know. Right, well, there we go. Sorted, 50 sheep. The um, the Bruno livestock trailer can go back, if that was only leased, and that has been absolutely fantastic. So that I'll just put to the side, and I know... Um, Barris's team will come and collect that. That's fantastic. Let's close the gate. Thanks to AJ at Gloss Crisps. We now have 50 sheep. And the farm is progressing nicely. Let's go and see where our wall pallet has spawned. there we go nice so first wool pallet first bale of wool on Oakfield farm the sheep are content in the field not bad I need to find some yeah like I say I'm going to get on the mod tub I'm going to see what I can do about the water situation I don't want to keep buying it that's like it was only 2,000 litres and that cost a fair old bit now have I got a bucket for that wheel loader I've got the bale grab. Don't have a bucket, do I? And have I got front loader attachment for? Right, I've got the attachments there. Do I have a front loader for the fence? And if I have, where have I put it? Oh yeah, there is. Is that a bucket? No, it's forks, isn't it? So I'm going to need a bucket if I'm going to be cleaning out that feed area. Plus, I'm going to start moving this stuff. I do need a bucket now. I think logically, if I get a bucket for the telehandler, the telescopic wheel loader, however you want to refer to it, for the JCB, that will kill two birds with one stone because that means that I can be moving silage and stuff around which is kind of what it's designed for. Okay, right. Let's put the trailer away. Pop the RBC down there. Good time being. And I thought, yeah, let's do it from a different camera angle. It will look cool. Blimey, that's a lot harder to do. <laughs> okay. I assume we need it at the back. That wasn't so bad. It went in the right. Okay. Whew. Right, well. Um, Barris's guys have done their done their darndest to get me a bucket and it's here should be well, well they normally drop everything else off so I'm going to go and clear up uh, the feed area there we go, I think it's just a magsy one I just got one of the magsy buckets from um, from the store it's 4,500 litres but that will do the job perfectly we have come to the end of another episode been a lot of to and fro with the sheep a few mistakes have been made here and there we're not going to point fingers we don't need to we all know who made the mistakes that would be me um but anyway i hope you enjoyed the episode oakfield's ticking along nicely we're just waiting for all the crops now if you have enjoyed it give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest I think you'll agree the deal that I got from AJ makes these 
cheap and cheerful. Yes, I said that out loud. That was terrible. Never mind. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, that was weird. Thanks for watching.